Oh my god. Oh no. Oh my god. What's good everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It's Zach here. Jay-Z reacts. And it's a little deluxe. Of course this dropped after I reacted to it, but it's Don Tolliver, Hearthstone Psycho Deluxe. But yeah, just four tracks. We're just gonna react to them real quick, cause why not? Maybe they're bangers. Lil Vert, Love, as a feature, he's on one. And then Yeet, which you guys may or may not know that I am not a big fan of Yeet, but maybe someday I'll get into him, but very rude because the camera just died so I had to switch the battery, but anyways, the first track is Rockstar Girl. Oh, also, I want to preface this by saying I have really been enjoying this project, honestly. I was, at first I was saying like, it's maybe like his third best, which I mean it might still be true, but I've actually really liked it, so I've been playing it a lot. I just love Donnie's voice like so crazy what he can do like it just sounds so cool and that was definitely one where he could kind of like flaunt his style and his actual just ability to like vibe out on a track like that like there wasn't too much to it but it's just kind of just like he's just like yeah like let me do my thing and I mean I liked it next tracks called love is a drug Do it 
bounce to it. You know, sometimes it's fun to just ignore the lyrics and just like, because the bounce was there, the, the just little, ugh, like I liked it, okay? I liked it. Don't, don't throw me hate for it. But I liked it. I thought it was cool. I liked the vibe. Um, honestly, like that was just the dawn. Like sometimes he makes a couple of these hit, like kind of bangers on his albums that are just like these fun, just like, you can just sit there and just vibe out to. That was definitely one of those. All right, track three is literally two minutes long. For Will, Donnie Darko with the Uzi Vert. Let's go. Just nasty. That's a little Uzi Vert, bro. Just getting just disgusting <laughs> on that song. Ugh. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really think I have much to say about that one, but it was it was a little too short if I was nitpicking. But like other than that, I mean, what more could you ask Don and Lozy Vert to do on a track? Like they both have that just like very distinct voice that like they can just do what they want on the song and like putting them together like that was like I, th I, don't know, I felt like my brain was about to explode but it was crazy I thought it was good last one I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this one but it's geeked up with yeet no oh, I'm so scared So there you go, that was it. Um, last track, listen, a lot of the time I think Yeet's boring. I'm sorry, I just think he is. But like that one actually kind of was a little more intriguing than I'm used to with Yeet. Like even just, I don't know, it's just been every time, like I don't know what it is. Like even just on Gambino's album, and I just loved Gambino's part, and then it gets to Yeet, I'm just like But like, I would run that again. I'm I'm intrigued by it, so I didn't hate that one. Um, I don't know. None of them really. St I think my favorite one was uh, "Love Is a." Oh my gosh, why am I? Love, yeah, "Love Is a Drug." I think that was the best one in my opinion. 
Um, it definitely is cool to appreciate more of this this hard rockish kind of like vibe he's gone with here and to see him kind of add that rap influence onto it. So I've appreciated that more with the album. Um, some of the songs are absolutely bangers, so I have definitely been killing it. I think I like his last two projects better still, but I don't know. It's growing on me still for sure, and I didn't hate it at first. I was just like trying to be nitpicky and like rank it, but Hearts on Psycho, Don Tolliver Deluxe, there you go. Let me know what you guys think. Favorite track, least favorite track. Go watch the other uh, full album review, because I actually really liked it and it was fun. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe, see you guys on the next one.